Hello again, thanks for uh, coming back and for joining me as we continue uh, towards the end of James. James chapter 5. Yesterday we were talking about suffering, we were talking about persecution and uh, how we're to, to remain faithful as the prophets gave us an example of doing so. And in verse 11, the, the, there's, there's a very close link to the, to the theme of this. As you know, we count as blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. So I was talking about um, suffering yesterday uh, by being attacked for our faith because we dare to stand up for Jesus. Uh, the story of Job is not quite so, such a clear cut example of this because Job, um, uh, Job's suffering came about um, not through human uh, involvement or interference or, or action, but through the devil, the devil himself working uh, against Job for all that he did. But the reason the devil did that was because Job was faithful. He was a faithful, righteous man of God. And the reason uh, persecution or suffering comes upon uh, people today, Christians today, is because of the faithfulness and the perseverance uh, before Jesus Christ. So there is a similarity, but the point is that I want to focus on. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. Job suffered hugely, enormously. We cannot imagine the, the extent of suffering and difficulty that Job went through. He lost everything and everybody who was near and dear to him. We can't comprehend how that would be. But the Lord finally brought about goodness. He exhibited compassion. He showed mercy. He delivered uh, great things that Job had not previously imagined were possible. Now, there must still have been pain because he lost his family, for goodness sake. But the, the Lord restored a new family to him and enabled him to rejoice in that. I have to say, I can't, certainly not in the two minutes we've got, I can't fully and adequately explain the kind of theology of this. But the point that I want to focus on, the point that I want to hold on to, is that the, um, the Lord finally brought about compassion and, and mercy. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. The Lord understands our pain when we're under attack. The Lord understands our grief when we lose loved ones. The Lord understands everything about us. And he, out of his compassion and mercy, wants to restore everything that we have lost because of him. If we stand firm, if we persevere, if we remain faithful to the gospel of Jesus Christ, this compassionate, merciful, beautiful, loving God will continue to, to um do what he can to give everything he can for us uh, and to um, enable us to know his his pleasure and his provision it, it's so difficult when we're living through difficult times to hold on to that but God is with us and God is for us and God will um, uh, repay if you like um, that that we lose because of the devil's work so with that thought in mind let's pray Father, um, we have heard of Job's perseverance and we stand in awe at how he was able to, to just hold on and keep going and remain faithful. Lord, whatever lies in store for us, would you help us to hold on, to stand firm, to remain faithful to you through the perseverance, through the compassion, through the mercy, through the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless you. Thanks um, for joining in. Come back to me. Talk to me. Let's uh, discuss what this, what else this this little verse might mean. But otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.